image took the internet by storm. To some, it's just a tea kettle offered by J.C. Penney. To others, the image looks like Adolf Hitler. It appears to be a case of social media and marketing backfiring. J.C. Penney is an American department store trying to reinvent itself after more than 100 years of retail history. With hip new housewares created by Michael Graves, one of America's most influential designers. We think our collection is quite broad. We have something for home office. We have something for the kitchen. We have something decorative like a picture frame. It isn't one taste we're catering to. The internet saw something quite different in his tea kettle. Not quiet style at an affordable price. Social media users saw an image of Adolf Hitler. Within social media, um, it, it's, it's interesting that a, somebody that was bored and sitting on the side of the road can suddenly post an image uh, to Reddit and suddenly it, it becomes national news. It's, it really is a, a fundamental shift. Initially, J.C. Penney tried to respond with a sense of humor, using Twitter to assure Americans any comparisons were unintentional and maybe puppy dogs, pandas or Santa Claus would have been a better choice. Yeah, I definitely think that we've lost control over messaging and what people say about us. And I also think it's a great cautionary tale about response. So when there's something like a Hitler teapot comparison and you see the two images next to each other and it's close enough that you could draw that conclusion, you just have to say, you know what, that was unintentional. Clearly, we don't want to associate our brand with Hitler. We're going to take the ad down. We're sorry if it offended anybody. And within hours, that is what J.C. Penney did, removing the billboard from the California highway. Marketing experts say companies need to understand that social media has changed consumers' relationships with brands. There is a degree of flexibility that needs to be built into to the system that traditional marketing campaigns and message-driven platforms really don't um, or can't respond to. Um, now marketers need to think about the brands as as a personality um, and and be able to to respond to consumers whether from a, a, a customer relationship standpoint whether from a an awareness standpoint it's now talking it, it really is about dialogue JC Penney did win lots of attention and dozens of social media mentions but some think that attention is more to do with the company's bigger problems than a teapot that might look like Hitler in the right light. Since J.C. Penney is obviously having some issues right now, they've had some serious sales problems, they just changed their CEOs, but this is also the same brand that tried to put Ellen DeGeneres up as their spokesperson and celebrate gay rights. So I don't really see J.C. Penney as a brand that's unfriendly towards human rights. I see it as an error. The $40 Michael Graves teapot has turned into a win of sorts. It sold out online with one tea kettle offered on eBay for $200. Sometimes a teapot is just a teapot. And sometimes it's a tempest in a teapot, especially when people think they've seen something inappropriate in an advertising image. And it's certainly given the Twitterverse something to get stirred up about, more than just sugar and cream in your hot tea. I'm Priscilla Huff for JN1 in Washington.